Hi everyone and welcome back to the Class 47 Peter YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be adding some figures to my Batman Auto Coach. Now I have been waiting for a week or so now to add some figures to my Batman Auto Coach. All my other Auto Coaches have figures inside them, so I thought that the Batman Auto Coach has to have figures inside it as well, to make it sort of blending with the other Auto Coaches. Because otherwise it wouldn't look right somehow if this one doesn't have any figures in it and the other ones do. Now adding the figures, so any form of coach, whether it be an auto coach like this one here, or even if it's in a DMU, a rail car or a two or three car DMU, it really does make a huge difference. Not only does it add to detail, but also adds realism as well. Now I've already added figures into this coach, as you can see. So, to, for a change, I thought I'd start the video off with the figures already in the coach, and then I'd I'll then show you going through the process of how I added the figures in this coach. Just for a change and to do something a little bit slightly different. So here we have the Batman Auto coach. Which is on the kitchen table. Ready to have the figures put inside this model. Okay so I've lied the Auto coach down on the towel. I know this might not necessarily be the correct way to do this. But the reason I've lined it down on a towel is because so uh, that way it's on something soft then so I'm not lying it down on the table where I don't risk damaging the coach trying to get the body off. And the way we get the body off is by simply unclipping those handrails there in the step. Now this is quite a nerve wracking moment I'm going to be honest because this is the first time I've ever attempted to undo handrails on a model like this to uh, remove the body. I'm hoping they're just going to simply pop out easily which that one has. There we go. That's one side and then I'll turn it over I'll just move the camera over so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. This one is deciding to be a bit stubborn. That's come out, so there we are. The handrails have now been disconnected. They are now unclipped. So now we have to remove the body. Now what we have to do is to unclip the body because it is clipped in place. So we have to unclip it basically. So let's just hope that this body is easy to remove. There we are. I'm just temporarily placing a cocktail stick in there to prise it apart because I can't seem to be able to use my fingernails. Okay, so I've added those strips of card along in the body. So that hopefully has undone it. So it should unclip. He says. I probably should have put the card pieces in sideways, but never mind. I 
Okay, so I've now put some cocktail sticks inside here. So let's hope that the body comes off now. Okay, I've lost one of the battery boxes. That will have to be glued on. Never mind, it's just unclipped out. I've got to make sure as well that these handrails don't get damaged. Because the last thing I want to do is break those. And if I do break them, I'll go ape. There we go. So, with a bit of force, the body's off. So, obviously the card pieces have gone flying all over the place, but doesn't matter. Okie doke. So now we can concentrate on the interior, adding the figures. Okay, so before we do go on to adding the interior, I have just glued the battery box back on. And I have used Revel Contactor for that. So now that that's done, we can now start adding the figures. So as I said in my review on this model, the interior is painted. And it really is fantastic to see the interior painted on this model already. And I have to say, the painted interior, it does make a world of difference. You can also see the detail there in the front a bit more clearly as well, even in the body as well. Such as that lever there and that little bit of detail there which I didn't notice before or knew was there before. That is a bell of some form and that's actually painted. So I can actually see that bit of detail now that the body has come off the chassis. In the floor of the interior though you can see the little screws there and also all these holes cut into the floor there that's because of these pivots there which you can just about see for the bogies. So obviously that is a slight compromise that's had to be done but I don't think there's anything else that can be done about that much really but then to be honest once all the figures have been added inside this model in the interior I'm not really going to be fixed on those little holes in the floors there for the pivots on the bogies because I'm really going to be looking at the people inside the coach so here are the figures I'm going to be using out of the bag and different people have produced these figures so they're not all made by one person the seated figures, the passengers, are made by model signs and here I have a pack of a hundred of them which came off eBay for quite a good price they're not expensive, they are quite cheap they cost about 3 99 if I remember rightly painting wise it may not be brilliant but then what do you expect for the money but that's not really a problem anyway because I find it quite fun to take the time and just sit down and paint the figures it gives me something to do especially during this lockdown these two figures here this one you see here with his hands in his pockets that's a figure that's come from China which came in a pack of several of them that's one that I have painted myself he is the same figure unpainted. The only thing I have done so far is painted the face on the figure. But compare that to this one which I have painted myself. That little red tie there that's been drawn on with a red gel pen which the camera isn't deciding to focus. So as you can see, those figures, once they're painted, 
they do look much better. And that figure there, that's a Batman Seincraft one that came with the Loco Crew and Drivers pack. His arms were up in the air before, so I had chopped his arms off and glued them into a different position because this guy here is going to be the driver who'd be stood at the front of the auto coach. It could be a case though that I may very well have to cut the legs down on them because in one of my Hornby auto coaches I did use a figure which was a Batman Sinkra figure for the driver and the legs had to be cut down because otherwise he was simply too tall. And the adhesive I'm going to be using to glue the figures in place is Yoohoo. It can be stringy but if you had a small amount of it, which I only need a really small amount of this, I shouldn't have that problem. Okay so I've removed the towel because I was only using that really to rest the model onto so I didn't lean it on the table because I was worried about damaging the model. But now that we're going to glue the figures on I've taken away the towel and so we can now have the chassis on the table and so I'm first of all going to be gluing on the driver. One of his arms actually did break off so I've had to glue it back on and also I have had to cut off his legs. I've had to chop his feet off. So sorry mate but that's because otherwise if I didn't he'd be too tall and so looking at him in the window once the body went back on you wouldn't be able to see his face in the window so it would look a bit ridiculous if I'm honest so that is why I've had to chop his feet off so we're going to use a good old bit of view here don't need a lot, we just need a small amount. And I'm going to glue him up this end. And the reason why I've chosen this side is because this is the side where the driver would be standing. Because I have looked at pictures on the internet and I have seen drivers stood on that side at the front. Okay, so the driver's now in place. I have repositioned his arm though to get it so it's facing Darren rather than coming out at the side like the other one did. I know the way his arm's positioned it might not necessarily look all that realistic but the reason I've done that is because where his arm was positioned it was sticking out at the side so my worry was the body would catch on his arm trying to put it back on so to try and prevent that that's why I've repositioned the arm. So now I'm going to turn my attention to adding the passengers. Now usually, with most figures, you find you have to chop off the legs. Not with these figures I have, because if I just demonstrate with this one figure I have here, and place him on the seat, you can see that he sits on there perfectly without having to chop off his legs. So that's brilliant. So we've added the first couple of passengers, I've added a bloke and a woman sat on the side there and also we have either the ticket inspector or the guard who's, if he's the ticket inspector he's just taking the tickets and he's having a chat with them or it could be that he's just the guard who's come out of his guard's compartment and he's checking on the passengers and he's having a conversation with these two doesn't really matter either way. I have had to chop the bottom of his legs off because he was quite tall compared to the passengers. And I know you can have tall people in real life but in this model it looked a bit ridiculous so I have made that compromise by chopping the bottom of his legs off 
so that way now he does look a bit better as he is so really really happy with how that's looking because I had this little idea for this model in my mind for a while and now I've been able to do it and that's made me a very happy bunny I will need to touch up his hair a bit there So all the figures have now been added into the interior of the auto coach and I must say adding figures into either coaches or DMUs it really does make a world of difference. So now that the figures have been added into the interior, this now comes the fun part. I've got to put the body back on the chassis, which is going to be fun. So I've repositioned the driver's arm. And so now we're going to place the chassis back in place. Now this is where I need to be careful of the handrails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend them right back which is what I have done and there we are so that's the chassis now clipped into place again so I'll just double check make sure it's sat on yep that's sat on the chassis correctly, so I've just got to put the handrails back in now. Okay, so now is the point to be honest with you guys because I have had a bit of a game with this because after the, the body being put back onto the chassis, I noticed that the screw link coupling, the chain link part of it, was up underneath the body. So off came the body to free the screw link coupling, then I put the body back on the chassis. In doing that, I noticed that the ticket inspector or guard, whichever one you choose to call him, I thought he looked a bit too high, to be honest. Even though I had already cut his legs down a bit, I still thought he looked a bit too high, to be honest. And so, I 
cut a bit more of his legs off and I think that looks much better now as you can see through the window. Then after I put the body back on, the arm for the driver had come away and it was very very noticeably hanging off just inside there. I also noticed that he was on a bit of a lean as well and again also the driver it's the same with the guard or the ticket inspector was also a bit high so you couldn't see his face as clearly through the window as you can see here so the body came back off again and then I had to sort that out so basically the body's been off and on more times than I can shake a stick at but it's all sorted now I've got this model looking as I wanted it to and so I am very very happy with the outcome of it but thankfully the body is not going to be coming off again so all I want to do now is to get this back on the layout and get this running okay so here we are down on the layout and we have the auto coach on the track with the DJ models 1400 So it is quite nice to have the auto coach back on the layout. So all things considered, I mean yes, some parts of adding the figures into the interior of the coach have been a nightmare, but then on the upside it was fun to do. Plus, the coach does look ten times better with people in the interior. Because it actually looks like a, a proper passenger train rather than just empty stock being pulled around on the layouts. It is something I'm going to have to do to all my other coaches eventually. I'm also considering adding passengers into my DMUs as well, which will also be happening soon. Because adding the figures, like I say, it makes a world of difference, adding them into a coach or a multiple unit of some description. But it's nice to have the auto coach back on the layout so I can enjoy it for many years to come. Running around the layout behind an auto tank. So I hope this video has proved some news to you and you found it interesting, especially for beginners who might not know how to add figures to the inside of coaches or even in multiple units, whichever. As well as also taking the body off rolling stock such as this Batman auto coach. I know it's been nothing amazingly special but it's a video that I just wanted to do. So I thought I'd show the process of doing this on camera. I didn't show the painting of the figures on camera because I think that would be a bit boring if I'm honest. But that's it for today's video so I hope you've enjoyed watching it nonetheless. Don't forget to subscribe Check out all my other videos and feel free to smash the like button and post a comment. And I shall see you again soon. But until then, take care and all the best.